For the fishing fleet at Lossiemouth, it was a royal day. At anchor outside was the royal yacht with the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh on board. To lunch with them, Prince Charles came from his school at Gordonstown. After that, the plan was for Her Majesty to disembark and continue her Scottish tour while the young prince returned to school. He is very much at home on the water, which is not surprising in the son of a father who has trained for a naval career. And what are the Duke's own plans? He was proceeding with the Distant Waters trawler fleet to one of their fishing grounds off Iceland. HMS Malcolm, a fisheries protection vessel, was to escort Britannia. Summer it may be, but the weather report promised anything but a calm trip. It was not long before Malcolm, with Pathy cameraman Pat Whitaker on board, ran into a force eight gale. Fortunately for him, Whitaker is a good sailor. Fortunately for us too, as he was able to show what the trawler crews are up against for a large part of their working life. we think when we eat cod, place and haddock of the men in the distant waters trawling fleets. And this is summer. Imagine it in the ice and winter gales of the far north Atlantic. But all gales eventually blow themselves out and it became near enough calm to begin trawling. The ships were now on the Icelandic fishing ground, that is in the comparatively shallow waters of the continental shelf. Trawlers use bag-shaped nets and trail them along the seabed. The fish are scooped into the mouth of the net and can't get out. These fishermen earn their money, but you never meet one that hankers after a stuffy job ashore. Just off Iceland is Sertse, a new island. Volcanic, flung up from the seabed last year. Up here, the elemental forces of nature are menacingly close. The royal yacht was already at anchor off Reykjavik, capital of Iceland, where the Duke was welcomed by the President and other members of the government. This was a private visit of no political significance. Clearly, Prince Philip was among a people friendly to Britain. Iceland recently barred foreigners from fishing within 12 miles of her coast. And though our trawler industry has suffered, there are no bad feelings. The famous Geyser region is met within 10 miles of Reykjavik. Here, too, hot streams plunge over numerous waterfalls. Nature supplies unlimited boiling water on tap, and the Icelanders have tapped it themselves in a big way during the last 50 years. It's piped for central heating in the capital, while the growing industries of Iceland make use of it, horticulture, for example. So tropical flowers are cultivated not very far from the Arctic Circle. Flowers you can credit. When it comes to bananas, that is really something. It illustrates the paradox of Iceland, freezing for much of the year, volcanic and super hot down below. A royal greeting to this northern outpost of freedom.